Greetings, creatures of the tubes. Damn, my hair looks ridiculous. I have to cut that. Anyway, I've stumbled upon something ridiculous in the news. Uh, old news by now, but still, just found that. In December of last year, there was apparently a news article, or multiple news articles, which were referring to that same thing, which mentioned doctors in the UK talking about a ban on long kitchen knives. Apparently, they would like to see long kitchen knives banned, or at least they did at that point. I don't know if they changed their mind, but I kind of doubt it. Because they are more dangerous and they are involved in many violent crimes. Okay, I know I'm a sarcastic bastard by nature and it's very hard for me to resist sarcasm. But I'm going to try for, for a while at least and uh, I'm going to try to approach this thing from the point of view of those people and, and be neutral and fairly objective. Okay. Doctors. You have to respect them because they are trying to save lives. Their main goal is to reduce suffering in the world. A very noble goal. Well, some also do it just for the money, but you know, that's. Let's just assume that those people are belong in that category. They genuinely want to help, they want to reduce deaths. Um, and they, they do a lot of good. I mean, nothing to say against doctors. They do save lives. So what they see is that if you have a very long blade and stab someone with it, the chance of it finding a vital organ is higher than with a shorter blade. That's just... Now by that, this one here will penetrate further and has potentially a higher chance of reaching the heart, lungs, liver, whatever. This one less so. So the reasoning is they want to reduce the number of deaths, so out with this. And even if that was effective, even if you could just magically snap your fingers and make all of those knives disappear, guess what happens? It's just metal, okay? All you need, and this is a bread knife, by the way. Do they expect people to just rip their bread to shreds rather than cut, cut it with a knife? Because this will be too long, ooh, scary. Anyway, this is just a piece of metal, okay? You can get other pieces of metal. You can get any kind of metal rod or whatever and sharpen it. Pretty easy. You just need a file and whatever. Very, very simple. You don't have to be a master blacksmith to make an improvised shiv or, or spike or whatever. It's not a big deal. Just look at what happens in prisons. People are very inventive. Medical practitioners should know better. They are not only well educated, they also encounter similar principles in their work. Do you treat the symptom or do you eliminate the cause? I mean, if there is a foreign object in the flesh or a tumor or whatever, which causes pain, you don't just cut off the nerves that transmit the pain so that the symptoms are gone, do you? You need to address the cause. And the cause of violent crime I'm sorry, but it should be pretty obvious that the cause of violent crime is not objects, but people. But let me just talk about the other dimension of this, namely the ethical side of that dilemma. If you just punish law-abiding citizens by taking useful things away from them, or it doesn't even matter how useful they are, by limiting their options, you restrict their freedom, because they are no longer free to obtain whatever objects they would like. It doesn't become a matter of free choice anymore, it's just the state putting their, the thumb down and saying, no, we decide for you what is appropriate to have, and 
you know, the, this whole thing of sacrificing freedom for safety. It's just horrible. Some people seem to want 100% safety, which you won't get. There is no such thing. You can only be entirely safe in a cage with no personal freedom whatsoever. If somebody locks you into a cell with no contact with everybody, all they do is just give you food and water regularly and medical attention if you need it, you're entirely safe. You're perfectly, you're, you're as safe as you will ever get. But is that life worth living? People take risks. Because that's life. Life is risks. I mean, think about how we're living today. We are ridiculously safe. The, the life expectancy has skyrocketed during the past decades and, and century. People are are so safe they don't even they don't even observe their environment anymore. A Paleolithic hunter would be utterly shocked to see people with their phones going like this, basically being zombies, not paying attention to their environment whatsoever, not noticing any potential threats at all. But the irony of such ban attempts is that it actually makes people less safe. Because, I mean, look at the UK. Everything that has to do with self-defense is banned, pretty much. You're not allowed to carry any weapons for personal defense. So, if you are attacked by a criminal, even if they have nothing, even if that criminal only has their hands and feet, maybe steel tip boots if you're unlucky, if that guy is huge and bulky and muscular and aggressive, you have nothing, absolutely nothing. Sure, you can learn self-defense yourself, you can learn martial arts, but there is always somebody who will be stronger, quicker, meaner than you are, always. So in that case, you are doomed if you have nothing, because the police won't arrive in time, no chance, they can't. So, and People have been killed by repeatedly being stomped on the head with a boot. That's all it takes. So you're, com you're completely vulnerable. You're basically like an animal pleading to have their teeth pulled and their claws removed. <laughs> you're like a hedgehog who begs someone to pluck out every single one of his little spikes or a porcupine, or whatever. Humans don't have anything. They are, they are weak, they are vulnerable by nature. They need their tools. That's what has made us the most dominant species on Earth. That is what makes us great. We are nothing without our stuff, nothing. We would die. Yet, some people want to take everything away. They want to restrict everything. They want to put us in cages. They want to make us completely restra restrained. And <sighs> seriously, this kind of thinking disgusts me. I have nothing more to say about it. At least for now. <laughs>